What is going on guys and welcome back to part 2 of the Road to Sun and Moon. We are here today playing Pokemon Omega Ruby. We're going to try and complete it before Pokemon Sun and Moon comes out. I'm super excited for this series. If you guys are too, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to see the whole series pan out. So in the last episode, we picked our first Pokemon. We battled May, and that Pokemon that we picked was Mudkip. So we're going to see if we can catch any more Pokemon in this episode, but first... We've got to go and see Professor Birch, and I think this is where we're going to get our Pokedex. So let's get straight back into it and see what's going to happen in today's Pokemon Omega Ruby episode. Right, so here we are on Route 103. We're going to hop over these little bits of wood or whatever the hell they are. Go straight through Old L Town, all the way back down to Little Root Town. And here is May interrupting me while I'm speaking. Emilio, over here. Let's hurry back to Little Root. That's just what I was doing, mate. Route 101, jumping over. Jump over. Here we are back in Little Root Town. I'm guessing we're going to have to go into Birch's laboratory. Oh, Emilio, over here. So, I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time. So, she has... A pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm. I think that settles it. Emilio, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. That's the one. I knew we was going to get our Pokedex. This Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why? She comes to seek me. At wherever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet. And the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. I will definitely do that for you. Oh, I'm getting the itch to go out and do field work again. Oh wow Mio, now you've got your Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokeballs that you can use to catch wild Pokemon. Yes. That's it. We can start catching Pokemon straight away now. Melee obtain Pokeballs. I'll put them in my item's pocket. If you catch a Pokemon in the world and battle together for it with a while, for a while, it will grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Root soon myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journeys, Emilio. Right, I think I'm going to go and quickly see my mum before I go, because I'm not sure if she gives you something before you go, but we'll double check anyway. You feeling okay? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. Nope, she just heals our Pokemon. Emilio, wait! What's up? Ah, right, now my mum wants to see me, so I just came and saw you. Emilio, Emilio, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? We did that in the last episode, mum. What are you talking about? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from the Professor. How nice. You are your father's child. Alright. You look good together with a Pokemon. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Thanks, Mum. You could have just said that to me when I came and rested already. That was awkward. Right, let's go. Why am I tiptoeing? Oh, why is everyone stopping me? This is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. Your Pokenav Plus has been updated. The DexNav function has been added to your Pokenav Plus. This is where it lets you see what Pokemon are in the area. It can tell you lots about Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokemon. Alright, guess it's about time I use the DexNav to do some more Pokemon catching myself. Amino, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching too. Shall we catch our first... Wild Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's see what it's going to be. Come on. Probably going to be a Zigzagoon. I'm going for Zigzagoon. 
Alright, Wurmple. You know what? It's always good to have a grass slash poison type Pokemon in your party. So we're going to try and catch this guy. He's really weak. So we're going to hit him with Tackle and hopefully we don't kill him in one hit. Alright, that's good. That's good. Alright, you are now on red, buddy. So let's throw a Pokeball right at this guy's head and try and catch him. Come on. Here we go. Just like Pokemon Go. One, two, three. He's ours. Our first ever Pokemon we've caught is a Wormpool. Nothing special, but it will do the trick. So we've got two Pokemon now in our Pokedex. I'm probably going to have on the left or right somewhere the Pokemon that I have in my party. I'll fit that in somewhere so you guys can stay up to date with what Pokemon I have in my party. But there he is. Bug type. Very small, tiny little caterpillar looking thing we're not going to give him a nickname we're going to keep him original all right so we just caught a zigzagoon on our way through route 101 and may is standing over there so let's go and chat to her and see what she wants Emilio, over here what's going on see that right there there's a tail sticking out there's a pokemon hiding there and look here if you check your dex nav Alright, it looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move too. I didn't even know it could do that. I didn't know the Dex Nav could do that. I've already just told you where the Pokemon is. Emilio, try getting closer. Real nice and slow. Push lightning on a circle pad to sneak close to Pokemon hiding into grass. That's what it said in a book I read. <laughs> Look at them sneaking together. You're almost there. Slowly, slowly. Remember, you press lightly on the circle pad to sneak. Alright, I'm doing it. There we go. Is it going to be another Zigzagoon or is it going to be Puchana? Let's see. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? I'll, you know what? I do like Puchana. It evolves into an awesome, awesome Pokemon. So let's try and catch him. He's level 5. Alright. Let's hit him with Water Gun straight away. There we go. Alright, mate. Calm down. His attacks rose, so we got to finish him off quickly and get him down to enough HP to throw a ball at him. That might be enough. That might be enough. Fire Fang. That's the rare move that he's got right there. It's not really going to do much damage to me because I'm water type, buddy. Let's throw this Pokeball at him. Come on. He's going to be another good asset. So we've got Zigzagoon, Wormpool, Mudkip, and... Pucciana, not a bad lineup at the moment. That's four Pokemon we've got in our party now. 40 XP, level 8. Come on. Mudkip route to level 8. Learn a new move. Come on, buddy. No move yet. Okay. Once we get XP share as well, everyone's going to be sharing the XP. There he is, Pucciana, number 10 in the Pokedex. Dark type Pokemon. We're not going to give him a nickname. That was amazing, Emilio. I've been at this way longer than you, and even I have a hard time sneaking up like that without being noticed. Thanks a lot, mate. See you later, mate. Right, let's head into Old Old Town. Heal up our Pokemon. Right, so how many Pokeballs do we have right now? So, we've got seven. I'm going to go and buy three more. Right, so we're now stocked up on our Pokeballs, and let's take a look at the map. So we can either go through Route 103 down to Slateport City, but I don't think that's the way we're going to be going. We're going to be heading to Petalburg City because I think Slateport City you visit a lot later into the game. I think, um, is it Team Magma and Aqua in this one? I think it is. They take over or something like that when they're about to get the legendary Pokemon. So let's head over to the left. But you know what? You've always got to talk to everyone in... in each city so let's go and visit each house and see if there's anything that anyone can give us like a tm like moves or any items to attach to our pokemon right so there was no one interesting to talk to in this town so we're gonna head straight to petalburg aha who's this dude right here i thought i was sketching some rare pokemon prints it turned out they were my own footprints okay all right we're gonna have to go through a forest i'm not sure was there a forest in this one it's been a while since i played this one right so let's continue I think this is going to be our first trainer battle. Here we go. If you have a Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. All right, buddy. Let's do it. 
You want to challenge me? If he's got bug type, we're going to use fire fang on this dude. Zigzagoon, okay. Alright, Zigzagoon. He's only got one Pokemon with him, so... Our mod keeps sitting at level 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit him with a tackle. Get him! Right, hit him with a tackle. Lower his health down. Let him hit us. And then we're going to bring out Puchiana because I think that's going to be my secondary Pokemon that I'm really going to try and work with. So I'm going to bring him out. Fire Fang this Zag Zigzagoon. And then both of them will get some XP together. There he is. Awesome. You ain't got nothing on this Poochiana, buddy. Right, Fire Fang. That is such a good move to have at level 5. Boom. He felt that. He felt that. So they're both getting XP now. How much do we get? 48? Alright, not bad. 48, 48. I'll take that. 64 bucks for winning. Any Pokemon around that we haven't got? Alright, we're still looking good around here. Do we go for that Pokemon? Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's take out this bug catcher. He's definitely going to want to battle. Of course he's going to want to battle. Haha, <laughs> our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. You, mate, are in trouble now because Fire Fang is going to destroy your bug grass type Pokemon. You don't stand a chance. A Wurmple. Alright. Good luck. Alright, buddy. Let's use Mudkip to weaken him again. Hit him with a tackle. Tackle, obviously. In the older Pokemons, it was so annoying. Some of the moves that they used to do, like String Shot and... Oh. Alright, time to come out, Puchiana. Time to Fire Fang this little buddy. There it is. The move that I just spoke about. That's fine, that's fine, because Fire Fang is going to destroy you right now. Another one. That's fine, that's fine. There it is. Fainted. Done. You're done. Level 6. Awesome. Come on. And our Mudkip should be close to level 9 now, right? Alright, so another trainer battle. We've got Mudkip versus Poochiana. Alright, let's do it. Well, let's water gun him. He's only level four. So there you go. Quite effective. He's gonna use a, he's gonna use a tackle. A mingy little tackle. Now let's finish him with a tackle so we don't use up too much of our power points. There he is. He's done. And our Mudkip is now gonna be level nine. Is he gonna learn a new move yet? That's the question. Come on. There you go, Mud Slap. Love that move. Love it. Love it. Taylor is about to bring out Taylor. Alright, switch Pokemon. Okay. Alright, Fire Fang. Level 2. That is pathetic. And he survived. He survived. He held on. Somehow. Finish him off. Finish him off. Eat him. He's a little piece of Nando's now. He's done. He is done. Done and dusted. There we go. Sorry, mate. Sorry, buddy. Alright, we've got some berries over here. Let's take these berries. They're always handy. Always handy to keep some berries on you if you run out of potions or any antidotes or anything like that. It's always handy to take some berries. Alright, another trainer battle. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. I'm going to stop your career. There's no way you're beating me. It's not happening. Another Zigzagoon. Alright. Alright, Zigzagoon. Let's try a Mud Slap on this little guy. See how you like a Mud Slap. Kapow! Alright. I knew. <laughs> it's not very effective at all, but it lowered his accuracy. Alright, let's water gun this bad boy. There you go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Bye-bye, Zigzagoon. Bye-bye. Done. He's done. He's done. He is done. 
Not a bad amount of XP. Yep, you ended up further in my career. Thank you so much. Take a look around here. What's down here? Ah. Found a potion. Not bad. Right, we're close to Petalburg City and May has just come and said hello again. Hey! How's it going, Emilio? Have you been using your dex nav and perfecting your sneaking skills? I hope you already checked out the dex nav detector mode. It reacts to Pokemon in the area, so it's really handy. So we're still in the early stages of the game. We're going to get so many tutorials. Ah. What's this here? Look up there. Check them out, Emilio. Oh, awesome. Where are they going? Where are you guys going? Come back. Those were beautifully, weren't they? Yes, they were. I'll have to check my in my decks and have later to be sure. But wow, we already made it through Route 102, huh? I made it through Route 102. You followed behind me. I battled all the trainers. You didn't. I guess it's really true that time flies when you're with a friend. She wasn't... What? 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 Oh, look. There's Petalburg already. Emilio, your dad. He's a gym leader in Petalburg City, isn't he? Maybe I should try taking him on myself. Once I train up my Pokemon a bit more. Yes, I'm off then, Emilio. Let's meet up again sometime. My dad is going to get his butt kicked by Fire Fang. That's what I'm saying. Alright, guys. So that is the end of today's episode. In the next episode, we are going to be taking on our dad in Petalburg Gym. We're going to be kicking his butt with some fire-type moves. We're going to be taking him out and continuing on through the game. So we've nearly filled up our party. What have we? So we've got Zigzagoon. We've got Poochiana, we've got Wormpool, and we've got a Mudkip so we can fit two more Pokemon into our party. What are they going to be? Find out in the next episode. Let's see how we get on against the gym. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button for plenty more Pokemon videos and all kinds of awesome gamingness. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.